This is your National Registry Alternative Airway Device and Superglottic Airway Station. Great. I'd like to go ahead and uh, select BSI at this time, make sure my scene is safe. I'm going to go ahead and approach my patient. Sir, sir, my name is Jim. Paramedic, can you hear me? No response. All right. Assuming this is a non-trauma patient, I'm going to perform a head tilt chin lift. I'm going to look, listen, and feel for five, no more than ten seconds. Okay, do not hear or feel air passing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select my oral pharyngeal airway. Measure off from the corner of the mouth down to the earlobe. I'm going to insert in a 90 degree angle, sweeping the tongue out of the way. Okay, your patient accepts the adjunct and he has no gag reflex. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and attempt some ventilation here with my bag valve mask. Okay, ventilations are going in without difficulty. Your pulse ox reads 85%. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach this onto high flow oxygen. And I'm going to pass this off to my partner. Please provide one breath every five to six seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and listen for lung sounds and observe my chest rise and fall. Okay, breath sounds are equal bilaterally. Medical direction has ordered the insertion of a superglottic airway. Excellent. Solomon, would you go ahead and pre oxygenate the patient, please? One breath every three seconds. I'm going to go ahead and test my equipment for my King airway while he's doing that. I'm going to inflate my bulbs. There is no leak. They both look good. I'm going to withdraw my air. And now I'm set up, ready to go. Solomon, on three, please. If you wouldn't mind, we're going to go ahead and remove the BVM, remove the OPA, and then go ahead and take the mask off of the BVM. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. We're going to go ahead and perform a tall tongue jaw lift and insert my king, I'm resting right about the 14th mark. Inflate my bulbs. Go ahead and ventilate, please. I'm going to go ahead and listen bilaterally for lung sounds. I'm also going to listen over the epigastrium. How would you know if you're delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? I'm going to go ahead and uh, listen and actually hear good lung sounds. I'm also going to note the good chest rise and fall. Is there anything else you would like to do for your patient? I would. Um, prior to actually letting go, I'm going to go ahead and secure my tube with a commercial device. And once that is in place, then I will attach my tube onto capmography on my cardiac monitor. Or I can go ahead and utilize my color metric device, gold being golden, meaning I've got CO2. Purple is poopy and I'm not in the trachea. And I do know that it stays gold. Anything else you would like to do for your patient now? Nope, that would be it.